Father and son are teaming up to race in the world's longest canoe race. The Yukon River Quest gets underway later this month, and TV6's Jennifer Perez has an up-close look at the duo. Like father, like son. Five-time winner Steve Landick returns to the Yukon River Quest, the world's largest canoe race. It's no wonder his son Connor would follow. Doing it with my dad is like, I mean, racing with him, I've raced with other people, and it's just not, it's not as fun for me. It's just like, when I'm with him, it's, you know, it means more. They're one of 73 teams hitting the water, starting at White Horse and rowing all the way to Dawson City. The course takes two days to complete with two mandatory rest stops. They've been training for the past year and all through winter for the 450 mile race and feel they have what it takes to win it. Their game plan starting off full force. We go out, you know, hard for about a half an hour. We're going to try and ride some of the Voyager canoes because they're if we can ride their wave, it's going to pull us away from the teams we're competing with, which, is the, which are the tandem canoes. So if we can get a lead on them, it's going to be really hard for any of them to catch us in a river that's that fast. Leading can help, but weather conditions can easily change. The wind is a big factor. It's certainly on Lake LaBarge it is, but even, even on the river, there's such a big river, the wind can really uh, you know, slow you down and, and make it a tougher race. Regardless of the results, doing it with his son is most important. He's, he's, he's just made tremendous improvements in the last year. So I think, you know, we have a good chance of, of being very competitive when we go up there. So that's exciting, and it's just exciting to go, go with him. Winning teams will receive cash prizes. For TV6, Jennifer Perez, Nagani.